floss tube. This is Beck from Whisker City Stitcher. Today's Friday, April 26th, 2024. Uh, floss tube number 11 coming at you. Hi everybody. Today I want to go over um, some stitchy kindness. I want to talk about some people I found um, on floss tubes. I'll go over some projects that I've been working on. I will go over some stuff I bought on the Marketplace, Facebook Marketplace. I will go over some Christmas in May. I bought uh, something, was, someone was selling something on Facebook Marketplace and I just bought the whole lot. Um, so I'll show you that. Uh, what else? That's about it. That's what I want to go over. Um, things have been kind of cuckoo crazy lately. Um, we're thinking about moving back to Downers Grove area in Illinois, where we came from eight years ago, before we moved here in Manuka, Illinois, which is, we're a good hour away from Chicago. If we move back to Downers Grove, you can get there in like 20 minutes. So. I keep telling my husband, like, you're moving me back to the city. Like, you're going to make me live in the city. Um, yeah, I've become a recluse, so. I really am not a fan of having to be around the masses again. But you get used to it. I'll get used to it. In the first couple of weeks I'm there, I'll be, you know, learn how to be an aggressive driver again. Or I just won't go places. Whatever. I'll figure it out. Um... But that has been like weighing heavy on my mind. So I will probably be talking about that on and off in between all of the things that we're gonna go over. Um, so let's have some fun. Yes, uh, Emily's coming to visit. Hi, mama. Are you visiting? Do you want to say hello to people? Oh, my big girl. Oh, 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 oh. She needs her little haunches shaved. She's getting fluffy. Say hello. Say hello to the people. Doesn't she just, I mean, oh my God. Look at that face. That is her resting bitch face. It always looks like that. <laughs> there you go. Are you stuck? There you go. Did you just put a hole in my shirt? Probably. It's new, so we have to, we have to christen the new shirt. Um. Okay, let's start by going over. I'm gonna go right into, usually I do like talk about people first, and then I show you my projects, then I show you what I bought, and then we do a little nitty stuff. Um, I'm gonna switch it up and I'm gonna go right into stuff that I'm working on because I have one, two, three, like probably four projects that I'm working on. Um, oh, a needle minder came loose. This is the animal, uh, advent. Advent animals from Brooks Books. I've shown this lots of times because I'm trying hard to stay on task with it. Now that I'm doing the Deadly Aquarium, uh, that is not happening. I've put so many things to the wayside. Ooh, we're gonna need some backdrop here. Let's see. Uh, come on out, I'm gonna use this. So this is number five. That's as far as I've gotten on Hattie the Hedgehog. I dyed this, um, it's a 28 count. Um, it was antique white, Ada, and I dyed it with some aquamarine and a little bit of darker colors. Um, I wanna do one every two weeks. That's probably not where I'm at, but it's, it's wrinkled, it's in its Q-snap, there's threads everywhere, but it'll be fine. It'll be cute. And I have, 
Where is she? Right now she looks like an alien. She looks like an alien. Or something else, if your mind goes in that direction. Um, what else do we have? I have, I did it again. I do have it. Here she is. I did have it. Where's Hattie? Okay. Then, um, so while I was waiting for the frame to come out for the, um, the sale for Deadly Aquarium, I started working back on the um, sign from heaven. You know, when a cardinal appears, a loved one from heaven is near. I'm making this for a gift. And this is one I've shown you before. I started it over several times on different fabric. Two over one, one over one, one over two, two over two. I've tried everything. And I just was not feeling what I was doing on those other ones. So I switched it. I went to a 36 count, light gray linen. I don't know where it's from. It was just a piece. I just know that it's, um, I know that's what it is. Um, and I'm doing one over two. It's a Stony Creek pattern. I don't have the pattern anymore because I sent it off to Becca. She loved the pattern and I didn't want to make her wait anymore. So I think I took a couple pictures of it and sent it off. Um, but this is upside down. That is where I'm at. These are all, these are all half stitches. And then the rest is a full cross. All of the blues, anything that's blue. Um, I know that we can see through the bird, especially because of the red on the lighter fabric, but I like seeing the X's for some reason. I don't like the threads to be too puffy and bulky. I prefer them to look separated, if that makes any sense. So that's where we're at on that guy. Finally, because I stitched, oh my gosh, maybe a little less th than the bird, but the whole, this whole part here and part of this, I stitched it like three times for sure, all of that. And this is the fourth time, so I'm sticking with that one finally. So I got a little bit done on that. And then I have, there were so many things that I was supposed to be working on. Like my um, book, I show you guys all the time, my notebook where I separated everything out into um, months, three months, chunks and um these are all of the things that i should have been starting in april which is almost over this one goes april through june i have animal advent sign from heaven that's on there uh sampler number 185 i don't even know what that is i don't i don't remember what that is i'll have to find it it's in the pile um, the Scarecrow, Houses on Pumpkin Lane. I want to start that. And then I have all the gatherings. I have the gathering acorns, gathering berries. There's also another uh, gathering acorns from another designer. My Alice in Wonderland, uh, which is brew, stitching nut, and ho my Ouija board, Halloween Ouija board. No, two out of all of that is what I've got going on because I decided to drop everything and do the um, Deadly Aquarium sale. 
super excited about that. I am having a blast stitching it. I am making mistakes, a lot of mistakes. Um, I frog, I frog a lot, um, but it's, it's coming along and I'm really, really close to, um, oh my gosh, this poor thing. So I take this from upstairs when I am in my room in my stitchy chair and then I bring it down here to the kitchen and then I go up and down, up and down and the cats have, I've taken video, I've taken pictures, I post some stuff on um, Instagram where the cats just take turns just rolling and laying all over my, my work here. Oh. Oh, <laughs> there's a grill. There's a grill in my kitchen. Um, did I mention that we're trying to buy a house? Yeah, so we're, we're not selling our house or getting it, you know, we're not emptying anything out until we find a house, we put an offer in on it and it's accepted. Like, so that we know we're actually moving because if we don't find the unicorn in the area that we want, we're not going to move. We're going to stay. We're not moving because we have to, we're moving because my husband can't stand the drive anymore. Um, he's been driving eight years back and forth. He's a, a crane operator. So he, he drives a car, to the yard, then he gets the crane, he takes the crane where it's going, he sets up the crane, he works the crane all day, takes the crane back to the yard, gets back in his car, comes back home. Sometimes it takes him two and a half hours to get home. He gets home at like 7.30, 8 o'clock at night sometimes, and he has to get up at 3 or 4 the next morning. And he has to find time to, you know, do the usual things you do when you get home from work and he just he's tired he's tired a lot um so we decided at the worst time when the rates have doubled our rate we will be getting half the house for twice the amount that we paid for ours luckily ours is worth a lot more than what we paid for it because inflation hit everybody so uh, my house is worth a lot more. Plus we did a lot. We refinished the whole basement and we have a whole apartment down there, like full kitchen, laundry room. I have two kitchens, two laundry rooms, probably six bedrooms, uh, one, two, three and a half baths. There's, it's a big house and there's a lot of stuff here. So it's nice that um, somebody will enjoy it as much as we did, I hope, but None of that is okay if you're so stressed out and you can't, you can't life. He's never here to enjoy it. So we said, why don't we just go back? We have 15 more years left before he retires. So, you know, we'll go back. We'll get a smaller house. Um, we might have to lose some of things like my library is probably not going to be a thing. Um, I'll have to take you guys on that little tour soon because it's going to be dismantled, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, so the grill. The grill is in the kitchen because we he had to paint the deck. And the deck out there, I don't know if you can see it. It's a big deck. It's There's deck and then you go down. But there's deck, hot tub, go down. Big deck, big, big deck. Because we're on a little bit of a hill, a lot of bit of a hill. So like my first floor is looking at my neighbor's second floor. Like they're straight across from us is their second floor. So it's about a nine foot drop to the end of the yard. So we built a lot of deck and then we have a pool, you know, a half in ground, half out pool. So we, he had a lot of spray paint, all that deck or, or the grill. We used it recently, so we just rolled it in the kitchen rather than put it down the steps to the concrete and we, so yeah, there's a grill in my kitchen. And my Curdy loves the grill. Curdy the cat, the gray one, he will get up there like this is his new perch. And we're like, buddy, that's not gonna be a thing for very long. But 
He's loving it. Like I have cardboard box laying around and he gets in it. Or if I get a big, a big paper bag um, and the cat gets in it, it stays. It stays. We, he loves um, donut boxes, the, the big Dunkin' Donut flat boxes, and especially the ones from Jewel. In Illinois, we have a store called Jewel, Osco. I guess you guys have, some people have Alberts and stuff like that, but it's called Jewel, and it, um, if you're closer to the city, you call it the Jewels. <laughs> um, but it, it, it's, you know, the regular donut box, and it has like a little bit of clear window through it. We put it on the counter, and the cat cannot stand himself he has to get on it. He, he he cannot not get on the donut box. And so sometimes we buy the donuts at, on the weekend if we have people over and we leave the donuts there for like two weeks. I'm not kidding. I've left it there for two. My husband's like, you have to throw that box out. There's like four hard as rock donuts in there. And I'm like, I, he likes sitting on the donut box. You can't tell the cat no. All right. See, there was, that was one of my rant and raves. There's a lot of light behind me. Okay, so this is the um, fabric that I dyed myself. Um, I did a video on it, and I, I actually am really loving it. And then um, I'm almost done. I have, look at these seagulls. Oh my gosh, I love the seagulls. How cute they are. They're so cute. I have a lot of the white, uh, you know, a few white stitches at the top to do. And I have some stuff on the bottom I'm working on. Something happened here. I don't know if I was stress stitching. It's, it's a little tight. I did my stitches kind of tight there. Besides the cats laying on this all the time, I'm doing it in hand. So I, I'm i like, when I'm stitching, you know, I have it like in my hand crumbled up a lot. Um, it'll be fine, it's, it's durable. I'm doing this two over two. Um, I've seen a lot of people. So if you're not doing the Deadly Aquarium uh, cell with Lola Crow, she has a Facebook page for it. Even if you're not doing it, you should check it out because people have like great ideas, like the just their needle minders they've come up with. Lots of other people, you know, dyed their own fabric. People bought pre-dyed fabric. Um, somebody did the sun. My, I feel like my lettering on the sign is left to be desired. Like, I think I might, I might try to redo. I'm going to wait. I'll probably wait until I'm done with the whole thing. But I've been looking at other people's uh, projects as they're posting their progress. And I feel like my letters are a little blurry. Um, but anyway, someone decided to do the skull and crossbones in uh, glow in the dark. That was great. That's a good idea. Um, I don't know. This is just a lot of fun. This is my first sale that I'm actually doing in real time. Um, I had the uh, greenhouse oddities and it's still not finished. It's probably 10%. Somewhere around there. Um, but I've been focusing on that. That is that is my focus. So I have a page left to do, one more seagull. The rest, um, and then I get a break because I think at the end of the month, around the 20 something of May, is when the first little critter will come out and we start stitching. So, but these, look at the, the colors are just so pretty. My, I don't mind how messy they are, but the colors are just great. Um, okay, so that's what I've been working on, um, the most. I did do, whoopsie, I did do this a little bit. This was one that was in my January to March, and I forgot to work on it, so I did do some on it. 
um, to catch up a little bit. Where's the picture? Here it is. This here is a Silver Creek samplers. Oh, the light, the lighting is just going to keep changing on us. Sorry. It's, I think it's, yeah, it's like drizzling. It's been drizzling and it's gloomy. Um, this one is called Planting Daisies. You planted daisies in my heart that bloom and grow each day. Indeed, I see your love for me inside their sweet bouquet. I love daisies, so I'm doing that. And I am doing this on, oopsie. I am doing this on a 36 count linen. It's kind of a greenish color. I Again, I don't know where I got this. These are things I got when I first started and didn't pay any attention to what was what. Um, I'm doing this one over two. again. It did get really gloomy in here, huh? Oops, sorry. So that's about as far as I've gotten. It actually goes up pretty fast. I am, I changed the um, called for. This has um, this has Weeks Dye Works colors. There's six colors in this whole thing. So, wow, I really made a mess there. So these are the colors, right? These are my colors here. But I, and then it also called for um, White Lightning. Okay, White Lightning has gray in it. I need to find something white white. It has some gray in it, right? I don't want my daisies to look muddy. So I did do, I did do this one that's not opened up all the way. Um, I did that one with that, but the rest I'm doing B5200 in the DMC. I think I'll like that better. Um, there's no back stitching. So I'm hoping that the flowers will show up on my uh, fabric choice. If not, I might, I don't know, I might figure something out. I can see them. And when it's on the wall, you'll probably notice it a little better. I could do like a iridescent flower, but I don't know. I kind of like it just the way it is. Lots of letters, lots of letters. Okay, so that is that. Then the last, the last thing I'm supposed to be working on diligently Amanda, I'm surprised she hasn't said, hey, lady, what the heck? I have a mental block with this. You guys have seen this a lot. This is a piece that I was working on for Amanda Haynes. She's got Hey Lady Creations. Um, I've gone over this so many times, trying to decide if I was going to restart it. I made a little gloober mess here with, I don't know, marker, maybe. I don't know how I would have gotten marker on there. I don't know what that is. It's dark. It almost looks like like eyeliner or mascara or something, but it's a full coverage, so that'll get hidden. But um, oh, there's a lot, and I've tried all different ways to do this. This is the first full coverage I've ever attempted, and... There is just so much confetti. It'll look so beautiful when it's done. The confetti will really work well with the black and the outlining of 
everything. It's a, you know, it's a pretty dragonfly. And there are others, people are doing other ones. She had, so it's stained glass, um, dragonfly, and there's purple, there's red, there's blue, green, um, and others have done it. I haven't gone on in a while to see how the progress of others. Um, but she has Hey Lady Creations and she's, I've taught, I've talked about her before. She has, um, she has artists that she, uh, works with that give her rights to make patterns out of some of their art. So If you like wolves, there's one, one or two that have, there's one that came out recently with wolves. Oh my God, it's so pretty. I want to do it. I really want, I, it looks beautiful. And I don't, I didn't ever see myself doing, I love wolves, but not, I haven't thought of doing like just a specific animal on a cross stitch. Um, okay. Now. That's it. That's all those those projects. That's it. That's all I've worked on. The rest that I'm going to show you is uh, stuff I've purchased. Some fun things I've found. A couple things I've gotten in the mail. A couple stitchy kindness. Um, and then a couple knitting uh, things that I've done. Oh, I'll show you this first. I won this. Yay me. It was a PDF I won from Stitching with the Housewives. I loved this one of theirs. I don't do a lot of their uh, patterns because it's just not my style, but they're very cute. They're very cute. The way she decorates her stuff is really cute. And Chelsea and Priscilla are like freaking hilarious. They're from Illinois, border Wisconsin. Um, and they, uh, Chelsea just had a baby. She just had Zinnia. I don't know the date. I, they haven't done a video and I haven't caught up with that, but, uh, on Instagram or anything, but she did have the baby finally. So I'm sure we'll be getting a video within a week or so. They stay busy. They stay very busy. Those girls. But um, I love watching them. But anyway, I won um, the pattern from them. And I do like that one. So I will do that one. Um, and they did it. They did their uh, pattern on this. I printed it. And sometimes my printer does this. And I'm not sure why. Depending on where I'm printing it. How I'm downloading it and printing it, it. It does a wonky thing where it doesn't put all the color on there properly. But if you see, you can see that it's blue, the background, the fabric they painted it on, or, yeah. But they stitched it on. Um, they do they do a video on how they do the, the blue, uh, dyeing the blue Ada. So I got that. I got the monthly weigh-in for June. I'm sure it's, everybody's gotten theirs already, so I'll show it. If you haven't gotten it, I'll give you a second if I, I don't want to spoil it for you. As far as the colors go, um, I I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I didn't. Re I wasn't thinking about this when I signed up for the monthly weigh-in. You know, it's a whole year worth. Uh, I'm like okay, we're getting to the end. We only have a couple months left that we're going to get. And I haven't started any of them. I'll probably not start them until next year. Um, but every time you get one, you get floss. All classic color works floss. And you're not going to use all of this. And there are a lot of repeat colors too. Except this time, I think there's not that many. This is a little different than what we usually see. Um, I don't know if you can see them with this cardboard. I'm not using my uh, craft room because I didn't want to have to clean it up again. Um, but there's gonna, I'm gonna have lots of 
color work uh, floss left over. That's exciting. I have a big stash. Um, so here's June. Look at the strawberries. They're so cute. I do have the scale. I haven't painted it and I won't until I finish all of the pieces to decide what color I'd like it. I may end up just doing it the color they chose because usually they know better than I do. Um, but yeah, that's June. Super cute. Okay, that is Fat Quarter Shop. You can buy them from Fat Quarter Shop. Uh, and it's the monthly weigh-in with the stitching from the housewives. I think we only have like two left. And I don't know when, if they're already up like that you can buy the previous months or if you have to wait until the whole years. But I don't know how they do that, but I got in on it when it started, I think which I've never done any of those. I'm not in any clubs. I'm not in any groups like that. Um, this is my first sale that I've actually am doing like a lot, real time, live, work at it, sale. I have no stitchy friends um, in my area. I'm the only one. I'm the only one. Okay. Then I will show you, I'm gonna show you my stitchy kindness. I'll show you that. Um, this, I got a box from Becca. She watches my floss tubes. Hi Becca. And um, we're going to do, I'll show you this guy because I bought him. So that I'm ready when she's ready. Oh, here's the card she sent me. Look at how cute. I love rodents. It's so sweet. Um, she sent my daughter diamond painting stuff. I don't do it, so I don't know the names of everything, but she sent her little bags for the little diamond dots, um, like color-coded bags. And then there were, um, there was a, the thing that you put the dots on with the little waxy glue thing. Um, I don't know anything about it, but my daughter saw it and she was like, oh my God, I love it. Tell her thank you. So Dana says, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and then she sent me some bags. She made some bags. Look at how cute. Look at the pin. She always puts a pin on her bags. Look how pretty. And then they're it's this here, the little sewing machine. So pretty. Back, the inside. It's beautiful, very beautiful. She does lovely work. And lace, she put lace. I never thought to do that when I made a couple of mine. I just throw mine together. This takes some effort. This is beautiful. And then this one also has a pin with a little sewing machine. And oh my goodness. Look at that. This is, this is love right here. L-O-V-E. I love it. I have, they're called, you would know them as like sugar skull. Some people know that they're called calavera. Um, and it has, you know, it's just the, the death face, but I actually have my little girl on my arm that matches like that, huh? Isn't that cool? Love it. She sent those. So thank you so much. I also got from her these threads because we're talking about doing a, which I've also never done. I've never done stitching with someone else. Um, and I'm going to venture out and do two like this. So we're just gonna stitch these together at the same time. Um, 
when whenever we're ready and not busy with other things because I'm sure her plate is just as full as mine lately but um, she did send me these because uh, they weren't what she was expecting they're hand dyed um, they're silk black iris I you're I don't know that you're gonna see it it's just the lighting is not anywhere near what it needs to be to be able to see it. <sighs> but trust me when I say it is a beautiful, beautiful purple. And um, we're talking about doing winter solstice from Joan Elliott Design. I'm gonna bend it. I think you'll see it. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna do winter solstice. Look at that, look at that. The owl and the fairies and the tree of life and the reindeer and the bunnies and the coyotes is what I'm calling them. Notice how they're just spending the time howling at the moon, not even paying attention to the bunnies or the squirrels or the mice. Everybody's all happy and getting along. <laughs> I love it. I've not, I call this a long dog sampler. Is that what that is? I don't even know. It might just be a regular sampler. I don't know what makes something long dog. She did it on Silvery Moon Lugana from uh, Pole Stitches? I've not heard of that. Pole Stitches. <clears throat> so we'll see what I decide to do. I do like uh, the idea of doing black, but I do love the color she sent me, so we shall see. So that is another pattern that will be on my list of to-dos. And then I forgot, I don't think I ever showed you guys this. My daughter started doing that amigurumi stuff, amigurumi, I don't know how to say it. Um, a while back, she's making like amazing things, but when she very first started, she made me this little strawberry and I totally forgot about it. And I need to, um, I'm gonna put something on it so that I can dangle it from one of my bags, but it's just so cute. Look at how cute a little strawberry. I don't know what size hook she used. Looks like a D or an E, it's pretty small. Cute. This one is a little package of extras. And it was funny because when I looked at it, I'm like, oh, I want that little package. Who knows what's in there? I don't know. I think that would be fun. I mean, she did write, she wrote all of what was on there on here, but I didn't pay attention to it. All I saw was the word um, soups included. And she's like, I'm like, what? What? Are you? I thought that said soups included. I don't know why. It's solids, solids included. Um, so when she sent me the bag, she put soup is served. <laughs> it was cute. But I got these. Um, these are all just little remnants and pieces of different fabrics. And then there were some that she hand dyed. So I got this here 16 count it's like 13 by 13 and a half it's like green with a little bit of blue you can see there's like little dark spots light spots it's pretty I got that you can see it's variegated like a dark variegated it's pretty that's a 16 count. And then there's this here, which is a, oh, I can't remember. I feel like this one was like 20 count. And it's not gonna show what its color. It's just not. I don't even know how to explain the color. You're gonna see it and you're gonna think it's brown. It is not. It's more of a burgundy, like a burgundy wine, it looks like wine colored, like a dark wine color. 
that's a nice size piece. Very nice size piece. This one is Volcano Stitching Galaxy Mystery. It came from a mystery box. It's an Ada 14 count. And it is a purple, like a purple, a dark purple with some blues. There's blues in there. This lighting is just not gonna be nice to me today, so. Sorry. Um, it is poopy outside, very poopy. This stuff I got from Thrift. It was all in a, like a bag together, a bunch of this. Um, so I just bought it because it was a couple bucks and somebody started this and I, it's on wool. I've not stitched on wool ever, but they started these mittens. There's that one, a little snowman. They're cute. And it's called Warm Wooly Mitten Stuffers. Uh, designed by Renee Nanaman. My guess is this is from the 80s because it just looks like it is, but I could be wrong. I don't know when it's from. But there are these little mittens. And here's the wool to do it on. So the two are done. There's some fabric left to do. Probably one, two, maybe four more, possibly. We'll see. I don't know if I'll do it or if I'll just gift it. It was in the bag of stuff. Really, I paid like three bucks for that. This here, which has some old school girl embroideries, it's called. Charted, mistakes and all, just like school girls stitched them long ago. Um, that came with these and it was all three bucks, so. Really what I wanted out of there were the Zweigart. This is an 18 by 21 uh, linen, 25 count. And this one is 32 count cream. Um, this one may have had been cut into, of course, so. But there's still a good amount on here. Um, I'm learning that I guess the names of them, like Belfast just tells you the count. Am I right? So 25 count would be uh, Dublin, 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 Dublin. Um, so that's that. I got this from someone, I ordered it. Uh, it's for stitches and giggles. And I got a little, little pattern, a little free pattern that came with it. And then it'll say like new things coming soon. Um, Swifty themes, more sarcasm, stamped kits. Um, but this one says, don't be a turd today. And then it has like little flowers on it. It's cute. Um, this here is what I bought. It's a stamped. Um, it's stiff. Is that Ada? I'm assuming, but it, it, it is pretty stiff, but I will just be putting letters on it. I, I love Alice in Wonderland. It's probably my favorite. And it's the white rabbit. And I'm gonna put the words, you know, like a something from the book. I will be putting in there, like we're all mad here or something. I don't know, maybe maybe something even different than that. I, I wanna find something. In, I'll probably sit and watch the original movie and come up with an idea of what I wanna put in there. But I'm just gonna stitch words on that. And then I got, um, this here is, uh, a table runner, 16 by 40. I ordered that from someone. I like 
the lace on the edges. I have rolled around in my head if I, sorry. I have rolled around in my head if I wanna dye this or not. I might just leave it white. Um, so it's a table runner, it has a pretty lace all around the edges. And I am going to Halloween this puppy up. I got, I got this here. I have never watched this show. Excuse me. Um, I don't know why. I just never got into it. Excuse me. But this is a whole little kit that has these four patterns in it. I'm sure some of you find that quite amusing, a jello mold with a stapler in it. I, I know there's a story behind it. I don't know it, but I'm sure it's quite funny. Um, one of my favorite movies is Anchorman, which has Steve uh, Carl in it. But I, that's the only thing I really, couple movies that he's been in. Otherwise, I just, I don't know. I've never gotten into The Office and people are like, you gotta watch The Office. I'm like, I, no, no, I don't. <laughs> like I've never seen, um, what's the movie everybody, the Titanic. Never seen it. Everybody's like, but you have to get it. Like the Rose and the Jack. And I, I'm like, I get it because my best friend is Rose. And we know a guy, that, his name is Jim. We call him Jack because he would call, he would yell for her. Rose would go to concerts together. And he's like, Rose. And she's like, Jack. And it, it's a whole thing, but. It's not lost on me, but I, I'm i just not interested. If I don't know why, but I'll probably go the rest of my life without ever seeing the movie Titanic. And there's a whole bunch more like that. Like people are like, you sit and watch the dumbest movies, like a waste of time movies. I watch, if it's paranormal, if it's spooky scary, mystery if it has anything to do with the bbc mystery spooky um a little bit of horror not too much the slasher in the the uh psychological thriller stuff unless it's black and white for sure i watch all black and white scary stuff um and some comedy stuff and mystery stuff uh that's my thing Scary comedy, Halloween, mystery, um, and funny, some funny. If it's drama, pfft, not interested. I just can't. There is so much drama in our world. <laughs> like real drama, real life drama. And I don't, when I go away in my head and I want to get away, it's somewhere that's not drama. So anyway, I, I piss people off when I... <laughs> <laughs> like in a funny way though because they're like how could you have never seen that movie and I'm like I don't know I'm just not interested and I'll watch like history channel stuff and discovery channel stuff like the, that's my jam I can watch you know things on Egypt all day long but uh I don't I just I'm not a drama person I can't do it um okay these are some other things. I'll save that part for last. Okay, we're almost done. So I have uh, some luminous fiber art stuff I got in Barbara uh, Anna Designs. These are things I just ordered from people online. So I'll just show them to you. This is Mouse Capades. I don't have all of them, but there are a bunch in here. Um, see... I'm already almost at an hour and I can't, I talk, you know, I talk in between and then I end up editing it all out because it, I go on and on, but I, sometimes I like to say these things. I don't know. We'll see. This is in no particular order. I'm just showing them to you, but I love rodents and these are all my, look at the little mouse snowman. Hi mama. I raised my voice like that and she's like, what? What are you doing? <laughs> Hi, pretty girl. The 
this one's cute. Oh, I love them. And that one. So those are Luminous Fiber Arts from Misty. Oh, she's been putting out videos uh, on like shorts or Instagram or she's doing things. Things are happening. Um, she's got some stuff going on. Make sure you keep Luminous uh, Fiber Arts in mind because she's got some fun stuff coming up and you want to be able to get in on it. Last time I wanted to get in on the Halloween stuff, it was gone before I even got online to see it. Uh, this is Waxing Moon Designs. It says, Halloween, when the cobwebs in my house become decorations. Yes. Yes, yes. Isn't that cute? I don't know what thread it calls for, but in my mind... Oh, it is. Okay. Because in my mind, this is big. This hat is big enough to use um, some... Uh, hand-dyed, over-dyed. Uh, this is called August Quaker from the Heart Needle Art by Wendy. I am not sure if I buy things from people on, um, you know, Facebook Marketplace, and some people are careful about what they sell some people may not be as careful i'm not sure so i don't want to say but this is definitely printed not a cardstock so i didn't know that um and i don't know how i feel about that uh but my daughter's born in august so i thought i'd do this for her in her favorite colors i'll have her pick some colors and do that for her. This is Witch's Brew, which, oh, didn't I just say that word to you guys? Like in the beginning? Didn't I say Witch's Brew? I swear I said that word. Oh wait, I'm looking at the wrong page. I did say, I wonder if this is the same way. Well, damn, I think I bought a duplicate. <laughs> Oopsie. I'll do a giveaway with it if I did. I'll do one like, uh, maybe I'll do one in August around Lily's birthday. I'll try to, or maybe the end of July, I'll do this and then I'll do this as a giveaway. I'll double check and make sure it's the one I have already, but I think I do. Um, then this one, I know I don't have this one. This is plum pudding needle art, which I've never heard of plum pudding. Have you guys heard of plum pudding? This is Blessed Bee. It calls for DMC. Uh, and then I have Country Spirits Collection Homespun Elegance Trick or Treat Parade. Designed by Sandra Sullivan. Designs that reflect our American heritage. Oh, sorry, Mama. I love it. There's cats, witches, and they they have balloons of pumpkins. And they use uh, Weeks Dye Works, some DMC. This was stitched on a 30 count cocoa. So I don't know what I'll stitch it on, but I'll definitely stitch that one. And then we have Haunted by Misty at Luminous Fiber Arts. I just love her style. This one was from 2020. And then I have another Luminous Arts. Uh, I really like this one. It's super cute. Coffee first and then the worm. 
Look at how cute that is. I I like the color combination. I think I'll definitely do leave it, do the called for on those. Uh, then I have heartstring samplery. First I drink the coffee, then I do the things. Somebody, darn it! I wish I would take notes. Somebody just did this one. Very recent. And it's really cute. I can't decide if I'll do the colors that it, that it calls for. I may, because they look like coffee colors, so makes sense. This is another one that I think I don't know. I, when I go to my uh, shop in Glen Ellen, I see this on display all the time, and I say I want it, but I don't know if I've actually purchased it or not. So I bought it online from someone. Buzz off by Plum Street. I like Plum Street. <laughs> Sampler stuff. Um, then I have a couple Barbara Anna designs. I have the Fruit Thief. Super cute. And then a Christmas one. Which I already am looking at thinking I don't want to do it on the fabric they're calling for, for sure. Man, there's a lot of white. There's a lot of white. It's Santa the Dove and the Key. It's really cute. Oh, this lighting, I'm so sorry. And then it keeps, the camera keeps change, trying to find itself. But there are things on here you can't see because of the fabric like there there's some stuff here and you really can't see it i will likely go to darker fabric uh then i have i'll show you my christmas in may haul maybe i'll do that i'll probably pop that in as a floss tube extra after i finish this one we'll do that because this is getting quite long and I still want to go over the people that I talked about. And I want to go over a couple things with my knitting. So here are a couple knitting things. I got this little booklet from the, the it, there's a, um, when I go to Glen Ellen, there is a thrift store on campus, uh, Wheaton College. And it's called Star. And this is a... Uh, Barocco. Uh, there are others in here. here I'll show some old patterns in here. I'm not that interested in the others as much as just this front page one. It looks like some time consuming, but and then in here there's that beret. That scarf. This I, that's not for me. Not for me. Probably not for me either. But I did like this sweater here. I thought that was kind of cool. It's got a high collar. That's a lot of woofta. I want, so you work it flat. <clears throat> so that's a lot of um, stuck in it. A lot of stuck in it. Um, okay. Then I have this pattern that I got from I like knitting.com. So I like knitting is they used to send me magazines. Um, they stopped. They're all digital now, but it's cheaper. So you, I pay for a year ahead, and then when it gets close to the end of the year and the subscription is running out, they give you like all these offers. So I forget what I pay, but it's like so cheap, and they archive everything so you can go back as far as ever. And there's just tons of patterns. I know Ravelry is like lovely to look up patterns and stuff, but I like flipping through my magazine, uh, magazines I get, like I still get uh, Interweave, I think, and one other one. But this is not horrible to flip through. It's just like when people are watching TikTok and stuff, except I spend my time looking at patterns on digital magazines. So I did get this uh, open cloud cardigan. I printed that. 
from because you can, you know, just print any PDFs out of the magazines. So it's worth having it. I'd like to make this sweater. Uh, it's also, it's mostly stockinette, but it's a, a nice little rib. Um, there are, you know, a few pearl stitches here and there. Uh, and I probably will take forever to make this because I, okay, be, because I'm going to make this with a merino, almost like a sock. I don't even know if I'll do DK weight. I might do it with a, a sock weight because I showed you last time that I got this, uh, winter gladden, um, free pattern from expression fiber arts. I don't know if it, they, they send you, if you sign up with them, they'll send you information about new yarn they dyed and what they have going on. And then they'll send you a link if you want to download any free pattern they have before it's not free anymore because then they actually will charge you for it. Usually like five to seven bucks, I think, or more. Um, but this one was the one I showed you that has these deep pockets and it's chunky, chunky yarn. So I started it and then I changed my needle size and started it again. I can't stand it. I love the pattern. I cannot stand my chunky yarn. As a matter of fact, I'm going to get rid of the chunky yarn because I have a whole bunch of it and I thought I'd love it. Um, I do not. Chunky yarn and myself just don't get along. This would work up so fast too. Like I I think the piece was like this big and I only worked like a half hour on it. I don't even know. It was so quick. But I just don't like chunky yarn. Like the yarn that, oh, <laughs> I almost choked on my hair. <laughs> oh my God, you guys, I'm so, I'm just so, I just, this hair is out because I have it in a, in a side braid and it, it like went, when I breathed in, I'm okay. Okay, where was I? <laughs> I choked on hair. Oh, I don't even remember what I was saying. Yeah, where, what the hell was I talking about? Chunky yarn, don't like it. Oh, people with the big, the, the, the big giant ball of yarn and then you use your arms or your hands or whatever. Not for me. Not for me. It looks cool, but I don't like it. Look, Jill, if you're ever noticing or watching my video, look what I did. I found the label. Yay! <laughs> so this is Crafty Performers. They have an Etsy uh, shop. They made some hand-dyed yarn for uh, Jill at Fiber Fuzzy. And this is what I've been working on. Last night, I did two videos on this. I didn't post them. I don't know that I will. They're not the best. I was just kind of talking to myself and people that weren't there um, because I had made a horrible mistake on one of the on one of the cables. One of the cables, I I did a big ooh boo boo boo. They're hard to see in here, of course, but uh, I ended up putting a lifeline in with uh, some floss, which I just took like two strands of long floss and put a lifeline in. I, I went in each stitch possible that I could see and I just pulled it all out. It was, it was scary, it was very scary, but I did it. And um, I fixed it, I fixed it. Yes, I did. And uh, we're getting close. We're almost done. It's a cowl. It will close up like this. And then you will you know, wear it. Um, I made this pattern up out of a big book of uh, stitches. And it, it is super stretchy. So when I block it, the cables are just gonna be, gonna pop out. Um, but um, I love the yarn. It's so soft and it has a little sparkle. Just a little bit, just a little bit. 
Um, so yeah, I will get this finished pretty soon. And then um, my pattern, I made it up. So it looks like an alien wrote this because it's all my own little, little jargon. I, I, no one would be able to read this if they tried. Like, you, it's just doesn't make sense to anybody else but me right now. But I will put this all in words and I will learn how to chart that. And this, I think, will be my first pattern that I've ever, I've made others, but I've never like tried to put them out there for anybody. So I'd like to share this one because I think it's really cool. And then I'll do a video on it on how to do each because there's six different sections there's a lot going on in it so it's not for the faint of heart uh, but once it's done it's beautiful okay that is the the knitting stuff all right so that's that now the last thing before i let you go if you're still there, uh, I want to go over a handful of people that there's one, two, three, four, five, six, I think seven. Um, yeah, I have seven. It's been like three weeks, I think, since I did my last video. So I haven't had a lot of time on my hands, but here and there when I get a chance, I'm always trying to find look at floss tube and so I'll go on my YouTube, I go home and then I go for recommended and new people pop up constantly. And what I'm noticing is that people I watch all the time or people I subscribe to, they don't pop up on that feed all the time. So you have to go look for people if you really like someone. And it, it takes a while for it to let me know that, hey, they have a new video. Some of the really popular ones like, you know, um, uh, stitching with the housewives that automatically pops up in my feed um, uh, who else well Jordan the tattooed stitcher for some reason she pops up all the time too for me um, I don't know if it's because I just diligently watch these people I don't, I don't know but um, I got some new ones and I want to share them with you they're new to me and since I found them, I've heard other people mention them as well. Like um, Cross Stitch the Globe, Stephanie and Allison, they, they are finding and seeing the same floss tubers that I'm seeing around the same time. And there's a couple others too. We all kind of, um, like Kat, the, uh, the Wicked Stitcher. Oh, Kat, I just... Is that what it is? Sorry. Um, I, we're all seeing like the same, the same groups of people. So I don't know if that's like the algorithm doing something. I don't know, whatever. But I have like seven. Um, so I'll start with Crossed by Floss. I don't know her name. I didn't catch it and it's not in the description. But she, uh, she does a thing called uh, sip and stitch where she just sits and has coffee or whatever her choice is in her cup and she stitches, she's in her, which, oh my gosh, while we're looking at houses that we keep running across homes that have, they're smaller homes, but they have, okay, smaller to me because when you look at some of these houses, they're still decent size, they're like, the lowest size we're looking at is like 2,200 square feet for the main living space. And then basement will add some to that. Um, but they have these like three season rooms or all season rooms. I could live in there. I could, So I'm losing a library, an office, and a craft room when we move. Uh, I could use that for, I could marry all three of those rooms into one kind of room and have that whole room to myself. I would absolutely love it. But anyway, she sits in this beautiful room. She's got windows. The, the view is pretty. 
she's got windows open. You can almost feel the breeze. And she's just so, when she talks, she's the opposite of this. <laughs> she's not abrasive at all. She's um, got a calm, patient voice. Um, when I talk to you, you can tell like, lady, do you drive a truck? <laughs> do you get road rage? Um, yeah, and then she has chimes. There's like wind chimes in the back, dingling. It's just, and then she just tells stories and she's a good storyteller. So anyway, it's called Cross by Floss. I wish I knew her name. I do not, maybe I'll catch it when I watch another uh, episode of hers. But, um, and I was so interested in her, the scenery, the sound, just the, the, immersing myself in the uh the experience of it that I, I couldn't tell you what she was stitching <laughs> I have no idea I don't even remember not a clue I'm sure it's lovely I'm sure it's lovely um the next one I have is nerdy stitchy witchy which I know other people are talking about as well amber she is new to stitching she said she started in 2024 she's such a sweet girl um She's already a good stitcher. I, I love the stuff she's stitching. She's from the Netherlands. Um, she's got real, like a positive vibe. She has a very positive vibe about her. So I like that. If you're feeling like yuck, just watch her video. She kind of brings your mood up. She just got a nice vibe. Um, but that's nerdy, stitchy, witchy. And then I have um, crow stitcher, Andy. They are right up my alley. All the things I love. Um, and they have great nails too. Um, over 80 something whips they have going on. 80 something. So that's Andy, curl stitcher. And then I have uh, Katie. From Red's Stitchery, Red Stitchery, I found her, um, I think I've seen two, maybe three videos of hers now. She, I wonder if she's had other video, like YouTube videos, or if she just really studied how to, how to conduct a YouTube video to make it very neat, clean, to the point, timely, just all the things that you're supposed to do to make a great video because she got it. Her accent, I don't know. She's from Europe for sure, but I don't know where. But I love her accent. Um, she does a little bit where you'll, you'll see her. You can see her. She talks to you and then she flips with the camera and then you'll see what she's working on. And she does a, a really great job at mixing up, like talking about the fabric, the the floss, the project, any accessories, accessories that she's tried before, ones that she's interested in trying. And it, it, she just has a good flow of what, I don't know, it's just so interesting. Check her out. It, it's, she just, and her projects are beautiful, absolutely beautiful, and she does all different kinds of projects. A good amount of, there's some full coverage too, for sure. Um, but that's Katie from Red's Stitchery. And then my last one for uh, cross stitch, I have two for knitting that I, just because I talk about, talk about knitting a little bit, but um, Shelly from It's Only Stitching. Um, I love her. her. Her pattern choices are so pretty. She was talking about this pattern that she got and this is the Animal Cracker series. This is Bobbin. This is the only one I bought. I'm not gonna get any of the other series because I just like mouse. Mouse is for me. So they're going to do a um, Zoom. I'm gonna join the Zoom. Um, it's gonna be the second and the fourth Sunday of the month in May. And the hashtag is Stitching Crackers with Sandy. This uh, 
pattern is by Stacy Nash though. Um, so they're gonna do a zoom and, and do this pattern. And that's exciting to me because I've never done that. Like I said, I don't have stitchy friends. So if I can figure out how to do it and do a zoom, I will go in my office and do a zoom. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that is uh, Shelly from It's Only Stitching. And I like her. I like her. She's very down to earth and just laid back and just puts it out there. And I like that. I like that when you feel like you're sitting across from me and we're just talking. But I'm doing all the talking. So when I watch floss tubes where they're doing all the talking and just... I answer out it if you could make me be like oh yeah I remember that or what then I like watching you um so those are all my cross stitch people um and I'll put all of them in the description I also talked about Jill from fiber floozy crafts you may not work with yarn but if you're cross stitching I've done it where I start you know like if I'm quilting I watch that's how I found floss tube. I think I was doing stuff with quilting and I found floss tube because of Elizabeth could stitch. I was watching one of her videos on how to make bags and then it brought me to her cross stitch stuff. And I was like, what's that? And then I went down the rabbit hole last year. Um, same thing can happen for you with Jill because she's got her own space filled with yarn and lovelies and she just sits and tells you about stuff and talks to you about things that are going on and then the biggest thing she talks about is um true crime stuff so she'll have and she keeps those separate like she has her there's certain nights I'm not on her schedule so I don't know how it exactly works but she has times where she'll have the true crime talk um and you think over, I think, just shows, books, things like that, all about cases, cases and true crime. And then um, she'll go shopping sometimes and take you with and show you what they have in, like she did a Walmart one where look at how much crap stuff you wouldn't think that would be in Walmart. Um, she does a lot of crochet. A lot of, a, a lot of her stuff is crocheted, so she'll show you that stuff. She works while she's talking to you sometimes she sits outside in the yard with the dogs and she just and the new cat or not new cat her cat new to me cat that had kittens re recently so i don't know she's just she puts out a good consistent amount of videos and she's so pleasant to listen to and not every video is one that you have to watch what's going on you can just have it on in the background sit and listen to her talk she does a lot of lives too. She does live videos and those are fun. She has a bunch of people, a whole group of people that will just go on the lives and just hang out with her for 20, 40 minutes and just shoot the breeze. Um, I like that, especially like someone like me who has no stitchy friends in person. That's cool. That's, that's a cool thing to do. Anyway, so that's Joe from Fiber Floozy. And then the last one I have is Gary from Urban Yarn. He is from Vancouver, Canada, and he um he's fun. He he crochets some knitting and he says he does a little bit of dyeing of yarn, not a lot, but he does it. Um his birthday was recent and he came to Chicago area and so he did like a vlog on his trip and um, talked about the things that he did while he was here and what he ate and a couple of the shops he went to and just people he saw and things he did. And then he shows you some of the same like we do with our uh, floss tubes. He shows his work. He shows stitch the, the stuff that people give him, things that people have sent him. Um, he's, he's pleasant. He's very pleasant. I like him. Um, I've only seen two of his videos so far, so I plan on watching more of Urban Yarn. Uh, I think he puts out stuff like once a week, so that's about where he's at. All right, so that is my Philosotube number 11 from the Grill Kitchen. 
Oh, um, so right after this video, I will put the next video and it will be this haul that I got from, um, this is what I get for being gone for weeks. I need to do a video like at least every two weeks because then I'm going over a lot and I'm going to cut a lot and it, it's not as fun because then it sounds rushed. Maybe I'll leave it and we'll see. If I leave it too long though, I'll lose you guys. I'm sure of it. Um, but this is, I got a whole bunch of stuff. I'm not going to show you the, the thing I like the most out of it, but I got all of this. It's a lot of Christmas. I'll give you a little peek. Prairie schooler stuff. Some country cottage stuff. Some Mill Hill and buttons. So I'm going to stop this video. I will start another video and I'll put it out as a floss tube extra. And um, because this one seems like it could take me a, a, like a good half hour. So, or not, maybe it'll be a nice normal quick one, huh? Uh, not normal for me, normal for others. Um, anyway, I think that was all of it guys. Uh, bear with me in the coming weeks because like I said, we're thinking about Moving back, back to the other homestead. Ah, oh, I'm getting a foot cramp. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, we're looking at houses. We're gonna go tomorrow and see a couple. Um, it's cutthroat. It is cutthroat right now with, uh, with the market. Uh, the rates are high. Houses are selling for a lot. Like. Oh my gosh, some of the houses I've been looking at and I'm like, they bought what? What, what, what is going on? It's crazy to me what, what people are getting for their homes. Um, but like I said, you know, my husband needs his sanity and, um, and I need my husband. I'd like him around every now and then. Um, just a little bit. Uh, so yeah, we're spending time looking at homes, um, trying to figure out a way to be non-contingent so that we don't have to, I don't want to sell my house before I find a house because we love our house and we will keep our house if we don't find something that we can equally love closer to his yard. Um, so we're going to be doing that over that. If the, um, the, not appraisal, mm -mm. the, uh, you know, the letter that, hey, we'll give you money. You're good to go. That letter, the, uh, uh -huh. the pre-approval thing. Um, when that runs out, usually it's like 60 to 90 days. If it runs out, we're done. We're, we'll just take a break and we'll try again next year when it gets nice out. Uh, we'll be all ready because painting the deck, we're gonna paint my daughter's room, do a couple little things around here. Um, the biggest thing will be to empty out some of the second floor because that's where all of my stuff is. And I have a lot of stuff. And you can't show a house with all that stuff. So I don't want to put it in storage. I don't want to put it in storage, take it back out of storage, put it back in the same house. That'll be irritating. So we'll see. But anyway, over the next few weeks, um, I'll be having a lot of that going on. So if you don't see me for a while, that's why. Or if you see me come on and talk a lot like this and rant and rave about stuff, that is also why. Anyway, I'm gonna get to uh, videoing this next Floss Tube Extra with the Christmas in May and the Prairie Schooler stuff. And I will see you soon. Thanks guys, take care. This is what we have to do every video. Oh, his nails. I got to cut them. They're coming through. He's got me. Okay, mister. It's video time. Hey, mama.